Welcome to another good news broadcast. It's really good to be back this week. Pray that God's been good to you. He's been good to us. He's good to everyone. But how many people really take time to thank Him for their blessings? You know, when we wake up of a morning and we can see the creation of God, we're a blessed people. We have Brother Tim with us tonight. We have Brother Bob, Brother Jack, and Brother Glenn with them. They're going to be singing tonight. Uh, we did some switching around for a while. Um, Judy's on the telephones, so be sure and call in your prayer request. And uh, we're looking to have a good time in the Lord, a wonderful time in the Lord. God's good, isn't He? I'd like for you to pray for Jeannie and Robert Deese from down in Monroe, North Carolina. Uh, Robert really needs our prayers. Uh, he, he really needs a touch from the Lord, and Jeannie needs strength to, to take care of him. I'd like for you to remember the family of Jerry Robbins from Marston, North Carolina, and we want to send a song out to Robert and his family. And so just remember his family in prayer. Uh, a song for Violet uh, down in Rockingham also. We appreciate our friends that from down in Rockingham. Uh, pray for Renee Gladden. I uh, want to send a song out to, for Hubert Gladden. And they're from down in Mint Hill, South Carolina. Uh, Nancy needs prayer for health, for her health. A song and a prayer, and thanks to Billy Ray from North Wilkesboro. So, Billy, we send a song, a prayer, and thanks to the Lord to you. Uh, Jason and Tammy says the program is a blessing, and we uh, send them a song also and a prayer. Dorothy needs prayer. She has a lot of health issues, and... Guess what? She'll be 86 years old the 5th of July. Isn't that wonderful? Pray for Donna Coffey. She has cancer. David Morris needs our prayers. And Jill Young also has cancer. So let's remember these folks when you pray. We're going to let Brother Tim and them bring you a song. You be blessed. Love like this was never known though you served the whole world around Jesus dying for his own just as the sun went down just as evening sun was sinking in the golden west hang in between two feet they crucified Son of God Caught by the multitude They placed on him a thorny crown Love like this was never known Jesus dying for his own Just as the sun went down
I'd like for you to remember Brother Tim's mother-in-law, uh, Kay Anderson. She has fallen and broke her hip. And uh, so remember her in prayer. She's in the Caldwell Hospital, I, th um, I think. Uh, I want you to remember the Nichols family in prayer. Uh, they lost a son. And also uh, Pauline Hood uh, has asked for special prayer. And also her daughter Patsy needs prayer. We're going to let them go ahead and bless you in another song. God bless. Before I read any more requests, I would like to share a few verses of Scripture with you. In the book of Hebrews, it tells us, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. In Philippians, it says, Be confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. And in the book of Galatians, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And David had this to say in Psalms 31, And may I encourage you, if I can. Sometimes things look worse than what they really are. That's because we get weak in confidence. But we can put confidence in man and man will fail you. But when we put our confidence in the Lord Jesus Christ and God the Father and the sweet Holy Ghost, I'm going to tell you, you can't go wrong. Keep your confidence in the Lord. Keep your trust in Him. 
And be like David. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. Because David said, The Lord is my light, my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Oh, may the sweet Lord Jesus Christ be the strength of your life. When I speak that, I feel such a sweet presence of the Holy Spirit. And may you feel that same feeling that I feel here tonight. Don't lose your confidence in Him. Don't give up on your hope. Hold on. Hold on a little longer. Wait a little longer, please, Jesus. Oh, won't that be a wonderful day? We want to send a prayer and a song out to Peggy Webb and Lois Mooningham. Prayer for Mark and a birthday song in the memory of Ginger Bridges. And please pray for Loy Ree LeFevers. Pray for Amanda. Special prayer for Jane Cash, who is in the ICU and needs healing. Yes, Lord, have your sweet way, Jesus. Put your confidence and trust in Him. He loves you. Go ahead, gentlemen, and bring us a good song.
I ask you to remember Bobby Gilly. Uh, he has back problems. And I tell you, when your back hurts and your back goes out, you just really don't feel like doing anything. It can really be rough sometimes. But thank God we have a healer. We have one who bore stripes upon his back for our pain and our suffering and our back problems and other problems that we have. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't Jesus wonderful? By his stripes, we were healed. Prayer for Jackie Patterson. She has health issues and needs a car. I ask you to attend your prayer for Ernest Earp and his mother Mary. Prayer for the loss of a loved one. And also remember the Wisnet family in prayer. Barbara and Ike need special prayer. Ed Turbeville has, needs prayer for his health. Alton Clark, Herschel Reed, Ruth Reed, and family, and they wanted to hear the song about the neighbor. So we're going to go ahead and let these gentlemen bless you in a song. There's power in the blood. Would you be free from the burdens of sin? Special prayer for Joanne McLean. Uh, she fell and also broke her hip. And May Bailey needs prayer. And Ann Gregg needs prayer. Prayer for Mary Watts. Also, I ask you to remember Debbie in prayer for health. And also, let's pray for Lindsay Hamilton. Lindsay Hamilton has a tumor. I don't know 
just really how much you believe and trust in the Lord. But you know, we think sometimes we have to have a mountain of faith to get God to move. And a lot maybe don't know what faith is, but faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And I know Lindsay would love to have this tumor just go away. Yes, they could remove it surgically, maybe. I don't know the condition, the location, or where the tumor is. But there's one thing that I know. If you have faith in God, and you have this substance within you, then what is it? It's the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Jesus said in the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 20, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Jesus answering and said unto them, and this is what I would like to say, the same thing to you. Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, Jesus said, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast in the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. And therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, and ye shall have them. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, your Lord, our Lord, and your, our Savior, and your Son, we come to you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Asking you, Almighty God, to touch Lindsay, Father. Touch that tumor. It's in her body, Lord. And Father, let her believe with all her heart that it's going to shrink and it's going to go away and no surgery will have to be done. I am looking for another miracle for the Good News program, Lord. And Father, we, we have to let the world know that you are God and you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You change not. You have no respect or people and what you've done for one you've done for others and Lord the little woman that had the issue of blood Lord you healed her by her faith oh Lord the little woman that was drawn over she was healed and made whole and Lord I believe father that this tumor is going to d dissolve and go away because we curse that, that tumor in the name of Jesus when we place a curse upon it it means it's got to die it's got to pass from her body because it's done in the name of Jesus and father let the name of Jesus your son overshadow Lindsay and let this thing go from her body in Jesus name we ask it Amen and amen. Go ahead, brethren, and bring us a song. Praise God. Hallelujah. When old Satan comes to tempt you and tries to make you down, the Lord is there to take you by the hand. With his loving arms around you, he'll gently lift you out. He will comfort you and give you grace to stand. Standing somewhere.
Pray for Mary Watts. Pray for Tracy Church. And we want to sing a, send a song out to her. And she has requested that someone sing Rank Stranger. Tim, sing Margie Green. Prayer for her. Prayer for Debbie, Ricky, and a song. We also want to send a song for Christine. My God keeps a record for Mr. and Mrs. Green. Prayer for Irvin Rosenbaum is in the hospital. Betty Mulligan and Barbara Griffin and family needs prayer. Also pray for Roy Stanett, and he has requested a song. Remember Mary and Jimmy Crisp and Valerie Riley in prayer. There has been requested a prayer for two sisters that need to be saved and safely for home. Safety for the home. And prayer for a listener who is sick. Prayer for Scott Ward. Robert Tolleson needs prayer for health. Pray for his mother Phyllis Tolleson and a brother and family. Pray for Sarah Simpson, and pray also for Danny. We're going to let these gentlemen bless you in another song. Our most requested song. If you don't love your neighbor, you don't love God.
I'd like to give out the names of those who have given on the broadcast, and we appreciate all of our supporters who support the Good News program. We get a lot of requests, and we get a lot of reports, and, and how that the program is a blessing to them, and, and we appreciate your comments. And uh, we also here at the Good News program, excuse me, uh, needs prayer just the same as when we pray for you. Uh, sometimes uh, our finances is not where they really need to be, and I understand that we're in hard times and difficult times, but you know God still can supply our needs according to His riches in glory. And I appreciate what you give to this broadcast, and I also appreciate that some have took in consideration that over the years that I have been coming here since the year 2000. And I don't get a, a salary. I don't get an offering. I pay my own expenses. But, you know, you can only do so much. And thank you so much for the gifts that you give. Uh, it really does help out. Uh, I think we drive about 70 miles uh, Saturday. It's 35 miles here and 35 miles back to my home. So we usually average 70 miles a Saturday night. And we try to be as faithful as we can. But we love and appreciate you. And there's some wonderful people out there. And um, I appreciate our new sponsors. And we got some sponsors this week that's given for their first time. And probably the first time they've been getting the program in their area. And we appreciate your thoughts and appreciate the concern that you have for the Good News program. Uh, Jeannie and Robert from Monroe. Uh, Lisa from Morganton, Jerry from Marl, Marston, North Carolina, uh, also Violet uh, from Rockingham, North Carolina, Nancy from Wadesboro, uh, Betty and Don from Concord, uh, Hubert from Men Hill, North Carolina, Billy Ray from up in North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Kathleen from here in Hickory. Uh, Jason and Tammy from over in Statesville. Dorothy from Morganton. Mary from up in Lenore. Uh, Linda and Lee from Morganton. Linda from Morganton. Glenn from Kingsport, Tennessee. Philip and Effie from up in Newland, North Carolina. We really appreciate uh, our sponsors, and these are the ones that sponsored this week. So uh, may God richly bless you. That's all what we have uh, on the list tonight. We're going to let the gentleman bless you in another song. Go ahead, gentlemen. This song is in honor of a friend of mine and yours too, Elsie Trivet. I had nothing but heartache and I was seeking for fortune and fame. I had nothing but doubts and confusion. But now I have everything. I have everything I need to make me happy. I have Jesus. Save me and 
I'm going to ask Brother Joe if he will come and join me in a word of prayer. But while he's coming, uh, we want him, the gentleman to go ahead and bless you in another song. And then we're going to go into prayer and then go into the word for the evening. Favorite song, my sins are gone, I ain't going to die. I remember when I free from sin. Remember. Our Father in heaven, Father, our wonderful we you. Father, glory and honor be unto we give you, you Father. praise we and honor and glory, the Father of our wonderful Lord and Savior, praise. Jesus Christ. We are thankful and Father, we come to you in that name, name because it's the name above every name. Of our and Lord, we come tonight, Christ, Lord, Father. to ask you, Make Father God, that you would touch these that tonight that stand in need of prayer. Those that are sick in their bodies, Lord, we pray, God, for healing to come oh, upon Lord. them, Lord Jesus, oh, Lord, because we know that it's by your spirit, hand, Lord, Lord Father God, that you touch, body, Lord, and heal and deliver, spirit, Lord. Lord. Father, we still believe, whole, Father, Father, that God. tumor is going to dry up and it's going to pass, name, pass Father. away, Lord. Lord Father, we're looking for good, them, good, Father. good news to come, Lord, to the program, Lord. We ask you, Father, remember the lost and to save the loved ones, Lord, and touch those that are discouraged, Lord, and give those confidence that have lost their confidence. Of this Jesus ever Lord, sickness let everyone has got a bow. Touch and every devil's got yes, a bow. But yes, in the name of Jesus, under Lord. the mighty power yes, of the Lord. Holy Ghost, yes, in Lord. Jesus' Spirit name. Spirit of God, Father. touch us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I feel that many are in need of confidence. Well, you ever had a friend or friends? And they thought they were your best friends, but then they betrayed you and they turned on you. And the things that you saw in their life that you once liked, you no longer care because you lost your confidence in them. They're not the person that they used to be. <laughs> People change. Times change. But God don't change. God will never change. 
hearts. Oh, Lord, we ask you tonight, Father God, to have your way in people's hearts and lives, Lord. Those that are discouraged, Lord. Those that have lost confidence, Father. We pray, Lord, that, you'll not, that they'll not lose confidence in you, Lord. Because, Father, we find in the book of Psalms 33, how that by the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. I want you. I want you. I want you. I want you. Do a work I in want you. Midst, Lord, that the meeting, yes, Lord. We know that there's a true and the living God sitting on the throne and all powers given unto Jesus in heaven and earth. And you, O Lord Jesus, will heal by your mighty power. You have the signs and wonders can be done in your name, Jesus, if we'd only believe. And amen. If you're in need of confidence tonight, I want you to listen to what David tells us in the 33rd Psalms. God loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Now listen to this. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breadth of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea together as a heap, and he layeth up the depth in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the earth stand in awe of him. Yes. Listen. For he spake, and it was done. Yes. He commanded, and it stood fast. Yes. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught, he maketh the devices of people of non-effect. Yes. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. Oh, Lord, the thoughts of his heart is to all generations. Oh, blessed and blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. And listen, the Lord looketh from heaven. He beholdeth all the sons of men yes, from the place, oh hallelujah, of his habitation. <laughs> and he looked upon all the inhabitants of the earth, and he fashioneth their hearts alike, and he considereth all their works. And there is no king saved by the multitude of a host, and a mighty man is not delivered by much strength. Paul tells us in Philippians yes. that we can do all things through Christ which yes. strengthens me, he said. In Hebrews, yes. in the 13th chapter, in the 6th verse, yes. so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man shall do unto me. And I just told you the things that David tells us about God, the Father, the Creator of all. Hebrews in chapter 10, verse 35 says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. How many of you have cast away your confidence? And who was your confidence in? You know, it's sad, but sometimes if we put confidence in man, we're let down. But if we put our confidence in the Lord, we will never be disappointed or discouraged. So let me encourage you to keep your confidence in the Lord, the one who spoke the world into existence, who breathed life into all creation. being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. But Habakkuk says, The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hinds feet, and he will make me to walk upon mine high places to the chief singer on my stringed instruments. But Paul said in Romans chapter 8, verse 37, 
Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Did you lose your confidence because you felt that you wasn't loved? That God no longer cared about you? Yes, he cares for you. 1 John 5 and 14 and 15 says, And this is the confidence that we have in Him. In who? In Jesus Christ. Yes. That if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. According to His will. His will. And if we know that He hears us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desired of Him if we do according to His will. That's important. Jesus said in John 14 and 12, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, on Jesus Christ, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. What did I tell you about the Father? What did David say? By the word of the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, that's the God of heaven and earth. Were the heavens made and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth? How big is God? He gathered the waters of the sea together as a heap. He layeth up the depth in storehouses. But he says, let all the earth fear the Lord. And let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. But now listen. He spake. God spake. And it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. Why? Why should we lose confidence in a man that will never let you down, will never fail you, that everything he said and done, it stood fast. Yes. And not only that, but he will bring in, he will bring the counsel of the heathen to naught. And he maketh the devices of the people of non-effect. And the counsel of the Lord standeth forever. Oh, he's a wonderful. And the thoughts of his heart is to all generations. And listen, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. Amen. He loves the Jewish people. He loves Israel. But it's a, per, it's a good example. And we should have confidence in Israel. We are a nation that's supposed to be a God-fearing nation. And remember what Jesus said. I say unto you, He that believeth on me the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father, and I know he went unto the Father. How do I know he went unto the Father? Because on the day of Pentecost, the promise was fulfilled when he said, I'll not leave you comfortless, but when I go to the Father, I pray to the Father, and I'll send you another comforter. And when the Spirit of truth has come, he shall lead you and guide you in all truths. And he will, and he does, and he has. He's the spirit of truth, and you cannot lie. He bears, because the spirit of truth bears witness to the word of God, which is true, which is the King James Version Bible. Zechariah. And said in the fourth chapter, in the sixth verse, does God speak to us? Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel saying, not by might, not by power, but by my Spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Oh, may you feel the Spirit of God moving up on you right now. Wherever you are, Oh, may you feel the Spirit of the Holy God moving up on you renewing your confidence in Him, knowing that He has come to heal, to, to, to deliver, and to set the captive free. He come to seek and to save that one that is lost. Many of you are troubled over your loved ones. 
You've lost confidence in their life. But oh, but God can restore that back unto you. And may you feel His Spirit. May you feel His presence. It's not by might. It's not by power. But He said, It's by my Spirit, saith the Lord of hosts, to Zerubbabel. A Zechariah, telling Zechariah about Zerubbabel. Isaiah says in the 43rd chapter that when thou passest through the waters, where he's writing here, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. Here's God speaking again. And through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall thy flame kindle upon thee. God will take care of you. Can you put your confidence in Him? Isn't it better to put your confidence in someone who will never fail, who will never leave you, who will never forsake you, who will go you all the way, even through the valley of the shadow of death, He'll go with you. He'll be there. Solomon said in Proverbs 3 and 26, For the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Can't you feel the security of the words of our wonderful God and Savior Jesus Christ? The encouragement that we get to trust in Him? Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 17, I rejoice, therefore, that I have confidence in you in all things. Confidence is very needful. We all need to have confidence. 1 John 3, 21 said, Beloved, if our hearts condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. But in closing and reading out of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, and this is what we have to do sometimes. And I know we only have about five minutes and the gentleman can get ready and bring us some songs at the end of the program. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Amen. Where's your confidence tonight? Is it in man or is it in God? Build your confidence in God. Build your confidence in one who made the heavens and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. We're going to let them go ahead and bring us a song at this time, and you be very much in prayer for them. If you feel God tugging at your heart for prayer, just call the prayer line. You have the number. It should be on the screen. God wants to help you. God wants to restore your confidence that man has stolen from you. We listen sometimes to other people and the things they say, and it's so negative. But God don't speak negative things. He speaks positive things. He's a positive God. And He never breaks a promise. He's always true. Go ahead, gentlemen. Go ahead. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and change. And I love that old cross where the dearest and be for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I tell Someday for a crown That old rugged cross So he 
despised by the world has a wondrous attraction for me. God was on that old cross. Jesus suffered and died to buy See? 